Welcome back to the Spectrum Center where the Hornets are out front early in this game. But of course, we're enjoying the game here today. But all across the Southeast, the Carolinas, so much devastation from Hurricane Helene. Of course, the Charlotte Hornets doing their part. On top of already donating $1 million to all of the victims, they will be selling these T-shirts. Take a look. I better get out of here before I get hit. Uh, they're going to be selling these T-shirts to fans. All the net proceeds from these T-shirts will go to hurricane victims to help support. Plus, the team is going to be working with the Second Harvest Food Bank this upcoming week. They're going to be building some food boxes for some folks that really need the help. We're going to put up a QR code in just a few minutes where you can get involved and help as well. There's so much devastation, Eric. Shannon, thank you so much. Yeah, just incredible what the last 10 days have brought. And if you'd like, if you have the wherewithal and are inclined to, this is the QR code uh, that Shannon mentioned, Hurricane Helene Relief, if you'd like to donate. Point attended that first quarter by making eight consecutive shots, including five out of five from behind the arc. Their lead is now four, 35-31. Hornets have LaMelo Ball back into the game with Seth Curry, Josh Green, Nick Richards, and T. John Salon. Second foul on Nick Richards, and it'll be a block called on LaMelo Ball. When you think about what this team wants to be this year, new head coach Charles Lee, is he still searching for an identity, or does Charles Lee know how he wants his teams to play and how they want to go forward? I think he knows how he wants them to play. Have they figured out how to go about that and do it on the floor yet? No. Um, competitive spirit, positive, next play mentality. It's, a, it's all work in progress. McBride hits a shot from 10 feet. Charles Lee last year was part of Joe Mazzulla's chap. He was the lead assistant when the Boston Celtics won it all. He's got championship experience in Milwaukee as well. He was coach with coach Mike Budenholzer when Giannis and the Bucks won the championship a handful of years ago. Salon gets a little run of the ball. How about that half hook in the lane? Yeah, this little ball fake gets the step. Soft little half hook. Shamit finds a chua. This is your first look at uh, Salon, folks. He's got a good NBA body. He's only 19. He's listed at 6'9", 205. You'd imagine that's just going to get nothing but thicker as the years wear on. He's banging right now with the Chua, and he looks up to the fight. Yeah, he has a frame that can easily add muscle. McBride in the corner. What? Oh my goodness, he wasn't shooting that shot a couple of years ago. He's got some confidence. Yeah, he knew the shot clock was about to be on his back. Confidence was there, right? Good D by LaMelo. Nick Richards can't handle that pass. McBride finds Shannon on the wing. Skip pass to Lefty Payne. So far, oh, that was a quick trigger. <laughs> he didn't do much of that at all no. in summer league. I think that shot's only good if it goes in. Off the window, I'm telling you, I'm starting to fall in love with Miles McBride. Shooting the ball off the window like that? That's old school. Lamelo's pass is deflected by Payne, a little bit too casual. <laughs> Dale, when you've only had one week of training camp, and well, I'll get back to conditioning in a moment. Look at this. Look at this. Nice ball fake. Look at the room that he travels, that he gets to on that long stride. And then right there, the Bella gives it to him. Jump hop in the rhythm. Man, he's fired up. And he's going to leave, at least temporarily, on a good note. A bunch of attaboys. He's replaced by Brandon Miller. Also back into the game, Miles Bridges. A show. Come on. I uh, take as many of those as you want in preseason. You were about to ask me a question. Yes, uh, this being the first preseason game, the guys have been together for a little over a week. Conditioning, where is it right now for NBA players? Uh, not even close to where 
you would like it to be. Thanks. I was watching Seth and Salon. They both were winded when they uh, came out of the game, but yeah, you, these guys have been together longer than just the training camp week. They, they started working out probably as a team in September, at least three, four days a week. But you, you can only get the proper conditioning playing against an opponent and playing that game speed. So nowhere close to the conditioning they're going to be in a couple of weeks. Landry Shamit gives the Knicks a three-point lead. 8-0-1 remaining in our second quarter. Looking up, he's going to be an outstanding coach for the Hornets this year. The, the, the experience, the, just the knowledge, everything he can provide. Not just him, but across the board, how to be a professional. Hornets all-time leading scorer, Kemba Walker, back in the fold. Hornets have made a change at point guard. LaMelo Ball is gone to the bench. Vasa Micic back in. So the Hornets rolling with Micic, Bridges, Miller, Taj Gibson, and Josh Green. Miller slips it over to Green. Gibson. Bataj, the 39 year old scorer. Nice power dribble, get his feet under him. Squeeze that one through the left hand. Dodge Gibson wears number 67. That's in honor of the high school or the, the high school he went to in New York. Maybe elementary school. In New York City, so many schools they stopped giving them names, they just give them numbers. He went to school number 67. Really? Yeah. Up and throw, Miles Bridges with the right hand. Hornets have a grand total of five preseason games. The first two will be here at home, then the next three will be on the road. A shot clock violation, good team defense played by the Hornets. Great D, second effort right there, good communication. Hard shows on the switches, the screen roll. Three new Knicks come into the game. Payne, Achua, and Sims lead. Hart, Towns, and Brunson back in. Thinking about Carl Anthony Towns in New York. Remember, he played for Tom Thibodeau in the Timberwolves. So maybe the acclimation process won't be as significant as it would be other players. Here's Towns, quick trigger. Stays with the Knicks. McBride. Knicks are going to bring back their entire starting unit. So you have Ananobi and Bridges back in. McBride and Shamit lead. Maybe be dialed in to be a broadcaster when these two teams are playing against each other. You got a Miles McBride, you got a Miles Bridges, and you got a Mikhail Bridges. So at any moment, you can say Miles or Bridges and be talking about any number of players on the floor. No. Brunson with his second field goal. And Ananobi got called for being too handsy on Brandon Miller. I should ask you, Dale, how was your offseason? Uh, it was outstanding. Fabulous. Not good. Outstanding, huh? Yeah. All right. It's better. It's good. Taj Gibson is fouled and will go to the free throw line. It's not quite over here. <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> All right, I got a rule. If you're 39 years of age, there's no excuse to ever miss a free throw. You've been doing it long enough. These have got to go in, Taj. Age the plays a part. You're telling me age plays a part. Yes, yes. Okay. He's been shooting free throws for 35 years now. Let's get in there. See? It's automatic after a while. How's your summer? Uh, it was good. Get busy. Didn't go too far. <laughs> what Paris as far as the longest trip I took. What was doing? What was going on in Paris? Yeah. Was <laughs> yeah. winning gold medals and things. 
<laughs> Put people to sleep. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Pretty oh, cool. Yeah, it's real cool. Pounds hands it off to Brunson. 520 remaining, second quarter. Towns finds Hart, who finds Ananobi. Somehow didn't get fouled. Oh, he did get fouled, okay. But was not in the act of shooting. It'll be side out of bounds. Oh, look how high House gets up. Oh, my. Woo. Good thing he's very athletic to break his fall. And took his cap to Ananobi not to draw any more contact than what was there. Brunson. Man. Interesting to note that Charles Lee is playing Michich and Mann together. Frequently last year, Michich would start, Mann would replace him, or Mann would start, and Michich would replace him. So clearly now, both with opportunities to be on the ball and off the ball. Absolutely. Yeah, both those guys can play on or off the guy. Trey can really play off the ball, but as you saw that last shot, he missed it. It can create his own as well. And with the way Bossa can move the basketball, create, you have to have shooters on the floor around him. Nick Richards gets to the scores table in time. He'll replace Taj Gibson. Brandon's got the responsibility of staying in front of Brunson. Shot clock down to one. Again, wonderful team defense. Absolutely. Oh, Brunson had a, a little mismatch there, decided not to throw it to Mikael Bridges, who was expecting Brunson, I think, to go one on one, and it just threw their rhythm off that entire possession. If you're just joining us, Hornets playing without Mark Williams. No Grant Williams. No Cody Martin. And no Nick Smith Jr. Trey left it short. Brunson on the run out. Does he still have some yeast? Oh, yeah, he does. Creative how he was able to tip that ball to himself with his left hand. Mijic. Miles tips it to Brandon Miller. First shot of the game. Nick Richards is up and in. Extra effort to keep that possession alive, and Brandon, nice dump off there to get Nick on the board. Nick played 10 minutes in our first half, doing nothing but dirty work before his first shot attempt. And because of the bonus now, we're going to have a free throw opportunity for the Knicks. Brandon, nice look away right there. He had Miles or Nick open, fired it. And the look away pass, good catch and finish. OG and an OB will shoot the bonus free throws. LaMelo comes back into the game. He replaces Brandon Miller. I've had some smart people come up to me and ask, Brandon Miller? Rome? Yes, uh, people are talking that he looks like he's taller than he was a year ago. Really? He's All right. listed at 6'8". I'm telling you, he's taller than 6'8". Right. Uh, let me walk by him. I'll take a look. That'll answer that. The Hornets listed him at 6'8 last year. They still listed at 6'8". Arms a little thicker. He didn't need to be much taller. He was no, really good yeah, last year right? at 6'8". Yeah, he was. Let's check in with Shannon. Maybe it's because he was working with Team USA, the national team. Maybe he got a little taller, you know, got a tall, stand a little taller to take that shot right there. Ooh. 
But Brandon Miller, Coach Lee has said he wants him to go from a guy on the scouting report to the guy on the scouting report, and that starts by being a two-way player. That is a focus for him. Wow. Look at all fives, miles, bridges at the rim. I don't think it's going to take much for Brandon to be the main guy on no. the scouting report. He's got that much game. There was times where he was the A guy on the report, and he still responded. Clean! Nick Richards takes it away from Brunson. Hornets can tie it, and they do! LaMelo Ball, a three! Yeah, look at this lineup on the floor. Trey Bossa and LaMelo, all those guys can move it, shoot it, spread you out. Trey man called for the foul on Carl Anthony Towns. Oh, now the high flying Hornets showing off a bit here in the second quarter. Melo Ball turns the corner, draws Cat, throw it up. There's Nick throwing it through for all tied in the second quarter. Last January 20th, probably sitting beside you. Yeah, you were. Carl Anthony Towns was. Uh, Hotter than a pepper sprout. He put up 62, but he got leaky. That was the game in which the Hornets came storming back. They doubled their pleasure in the fourth quarter against the Timberwolves. Outscored the T-Wolves 36 to 18 in the fourth quarter yeah. and stole one away from the Timberwolves. Yeah, oh, Timberwolves got out of rhythm, out of sorts, trying to get this guy shots. They're trying to get him to 80 points. Well, to the hell with it. <laughs> Towns makes a pair. That was the only flying ointment for him uh, last January. He had 62 points, but was only 10 out of 14 at the line. Uncharacteristic. And LaMelo is fouled. Finally got the foul call that he wanted, and he'll go to the free throw line for the first time. Look at, LaMelo, look at the handles right there. Waits for the time. He gets the defense to lean a little bit to his left and he turns the corner, hangs in the air long enough to draw the contact right there. Still get it on the rim. Elite free throw shooter, always has been. So is it all about the ankle braces or would you ever encourage LaMelo to maybe adopt a different style to try and keep himself as healthy as possible? No, I, I think he's got to play the way he's accustomed to. He's just got to be secure and finding that those braces are going to help. I know a guy's been wearing braces a long time. He's played well in them and LaMelo could do the same. You just, like Shannon said, you just have to find that pair that you're comfortable with that you can play and not know that they're on. We're tied at 54. Final 220 of our first half. Brunson short-armed it. Read out about Nick Richards. Here comes Miles Bridges. Thought about it. Bridges with the size advantage. Nick. Love it. Because of the size advantage that Miles has, he was able to throw it over the top right to Nick, who was able to shot put that one in. Foul called on Brandon Miller. And again, because of the bonus, free throws coming for Towns. Towns over the last couple of years was playing with another seven footer, Rudy Gobert, out in Minnesota. He's not going to have that anymore. The Knicks were really good last year. And they decided last minute to break it up. They lost in the first round. Second round. Second round. Second round. Sorry, second round. So, yeah, really good, but in their mind's not good enough. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, they lost to the Pacers in seven games in the second round. Mitchell Robinson is expected to come back right around Christmas. Big story last year was all of the Villanova alums that were playing together and they got rid of one of them even chenzo gone so they still have bridges brunson and hart yeah even chenzo probably probably was not going to start even his minutes would have been dwindled with mikhail bridges that he got from brooklyn 
uh, in the trade last year. So all that factored in uh, Mitchell Robinson's injury, all that factored in to pulling the trigger on that Towns deal. It had been rumored that Towns could get traded all of last year. Uh, it, I think it just takes a deadline of training camp coming around. Do we really want to do this? And if we do, we've got to do it now where we can play the preseason to get to know who we are, our identity, how he fits into this already really good Knicks team. You're talking Mikael Bridges and Towns. These guys can put the ball in the hole. You can't just throw them out there and expect them to play well with each other right away. They, it's going to take time for all that to gel. So you pull the trigger in preseason, hopefully work out the kinks. Josh Hart got called for that foul. Well, he doesn't believe that uh, he's guilty of anything. Next foul will put the Hornets in the bonus. Miller! Uh, Nick Richards! And it won't fall! If at first you don't succeed, try again. Uh, good job by Brandon to realize, okay, I can't get it to Nick. I've got two on me. Let me get it on the rim. He'll be right there if I miss. And he cast it in. Final 50 seconds of our first half. Lamelo. Bridges missed the layup. Man, you can tell it's preseason game number one with these layups that are being missed. The layups, and I was expecting a ton of turnovers. Hornets have 10, and Knicks only have five. That is a two for one. That's a second year pro in yeah. Brandon Miller, yeah. understanding time and score. Yeah, Melo's shot was a three for two. That perfect two for one, and that he was able to get that off, and it was a good shot. Brunson picks it up with 30.6 remaining. Oh, it won. And Brunson, man, he is good in that paint. Yeah. Picked it up, stopped on a dime, picked it up, felt the reach in, made sure he got the contact, flipped it up. Sign an extension. The offseason. Yes, me, still got a long way to go to be the best player out of this high school. Went to the same high school as Tamika Ketchik. Oh, ooh. yep. Oh, seriously. Yeah. If you don't know Tamika Ketchik's yeah. folks, she could go. We got a Roger Maris sighting. 61 61. Hey, Brunson's clearly a baseball fan. Wants to keep looking at that 61 on the scoreboard. <laughs> Hornets gonna hold for the final shot. Brandon! Put it up there! And that'll do it for our first half of play. That was entertaining. First half to the first preseason.